All right, good morning, guys. Just want to take you through this final invention form process. Pretty simple here, but just a few refreshers on using Cami and inserting pictures and that type of thing. Um, so in your final invention form here, there's a couple parts to it that you need to fill in. Uh, you've been assigned a form here. Uh, if you are in a group, you and your partner uh, can obviously have the same information in your form. You know, just figure out how you are sharing that with one another so you guys are turning in your own uh, invention form. So I'm going to click on that. It opens up the PDF. Again, I want to open that with Cami. Okay, once I get here, you'll notice you've got to fill in your information, um, the name, your name, or the people in your group. List your materials here that you used. You're also going to have four photos, top, front, side, and isometric. And then you're going to describe the invention process from the beginning to the end, um, just discussing how it went. Um, there is a guide here to kind of help you through that. And you'll just, and if you want to bullet your uh, responses and just write under each one of these headings, that's fine. If you want to do paragraph form, that is fine. All right, so there's kind of a little uh, descriptive piece here for each part of that for you to fill in and potentially you and your partner. All right. Okay, so again, when you're adding uh, text, you can just use a text box. Okay, click where you want to write, and then you just type it in. Again, you can change the size of things if need be. Okay, I think most of you guys are good with that. As far as inserting photos, you're going to go to Add Media, and you go go to My Computer, unless it's in your uh, Google Drive, you can certainly go to there as well. And you're just going to, uh, you know, grab your pictures that you want to bring in. Okay, so. This is my isometric view. So it's going to come in a little bit big. You can, once you get it in there, you can resize it. And then just kind of set it in that box. Try to do it as neatly as you can. Again, you go to add media, go to the place that it's at. It's going to be either your computer or your Google Drive in most cases. Okay, bring it in. Drag it into the appropriate box, and you'll have your four views in there, okay? And then again, once you get down to this page here, um, you may want to write this up like on a separate doc and then copy and paste it in here, especially if you're working in a group. Um, otherwise, you're just going to do your text box and you know, write your information in here. And again, if you want to bullet the items like identifying, write about it. Understanding, write about it. That's fine. Or you can do it in a paragraph form. Okay. But you're talking about your failures, your successes, maybe things you had to modify along the way. Um, you know, maybe you had to change materials. Maybe you ran into a few bumps along the way. All that type of information should be in here in this uh, section right here. Once you are done, you will turn it in. And that should be all set on the Google Classroom page. Because you'll get this message again, turn it in, and you are good to go. Um, if you just want to save as you're working on it, that's fine. I think you can unsubmit it and then go back in and edit if necessary. But again, if you're working as a group, figure out how you are doing that so you're submitting the same thing everybody in the group does need to submit the form even if it is identical okay hopefully that helps and hope you have a great day